My name is Innocent Chikeze. I'm an artist. I'm a painter. Ignite is about reviving my passion in art, rekindling the fire that burns in me, that creative fire, the energy that makes you wake up every morning to do something creative. And I was trying to look for a word that will make people understand how I feel, because I know that if I don't do anything about it, the fire might probably die down, but I actually needed to do something about my career as an artist. master's degree in Nottingham Trent University. That was back then in 2007. Traveling from your country to a different country with all kinds of things happening and going around, but it was all right. You know, it was a very good experience and uh, I am so happy. And I thank God for the family of Lulu Bricks Foundation, especially the wife, Mrs. Senye Lulu Bricks, that helped me and uh, paid my school fees. She's a very good woman and I really appreciate her for all the things that she did for me. But without her, I will know I will be nowhere today. Do you know what I mean? 
Innocent. Yeah, that's my name. And you're an artist who hails all the way from Nigeria, I understand. So, yeah, you're right, man. But what are you doing in Nottingham? What I'm doing in Nottingham? Oh, that's a fantastic question. You know, I've come all the way from Nigeria to study in Nottingham Trent University, and uh, I did my master's in fine art. I finished in the summer 2007, so about a few months ago. Oh, so you've already got your master's degree yeah, then? I've already got my master's. Yeah. May I congratulate you? Thank you very much. Son of Africa, may I congratulate you? During the course of my master's degree in the UK, I went through the city council in Nottingham Trent and I asked them for the picture of the Lord Mayor so I could paint a, a portrait of the Lord Mayor of Nottingham. As at then, it was a Kun Mohammed Money. So I painted this portrait, and the interesting thing about the portrait was that I, I put the background of my village right behind the portrait as part of the painting, you know, kind of expressing how I feel now that I'm, I'm no longer in the village, but I'm now here in, in the UK. The community of Heisen Green sent out memos to all artists in the universities to co contest for an art competition in Nottingham. So it was a very interesting time and I featured in that competition but I came second. So the guy who came first, his name is Richard Pops. He invited me to work with him. So we had this long stretch mural. There were other people too who, was, who participated in that mural. It was, it was a very interesting thing that took us about three weeks or so. And we did a very long stretch mural titled One Love in front of the new artist change in High Green in Nottingham. That was back then in 2008, which was a very, very good experience for me. I was featured in the newspaper in Nottingham. I was invited by the BBC to talk about the Lord Mayor's portrait. Well, my painting style has evolved, a lot has changed. I'm beginning to experiment more. I'm beginning to express freedom in my painting. I'm no more restricted by all kinds of things that I used to do before, but right now I'm expressing myself more vigorously and you know, more clearly without any restrictions. I play with acrylics, oil, and all kinds of mixed media material that I can lay my hands on. Well, this exhibition opened on a Sunday, the 25th of August. And the turnout was overwhelming. There were so many people came. In fact, I was dumbfounded when I saw my colleagues all from everywhere. So many people came from different places, far and near. And most importantly, my colleagues from the Society of Nigerian Artists. There were a lot of them here to encourage me, which was very, very good. And I thank them all for coming. I appreciate all their efforts to try to support and make sure that art doesn't die in River State. That many people tend to grow to love art and appreciate art in our country today. This particular art piece, which I titled Ignite, it's about a man, a naked man sitting on top of what looks like a, a holy Bible. But it's not actually a holy Bible because the word Bible was turned upside down. So right now, I feel I've been ignited by this exhibition. I feel the fire is burning high and I know that I have to do something very big. I want to do a bigger art exhibition, probably in a very big city either Lagos or Abuja, or outside Nigeria, as the case may be. There were a lot of friends and families who did one thing or the other to encourage me to continue to work hard, to continue to polish my career, and to continue to stand firm as an artist. I worked with companies like Espart Paint Company. They sponsored my program by supporting me with some paint materials. I also work with the Parks Academy. Most importantly, I want to thank my wife who has been there with me in these hard times, trying to encourage me, making sure that I don't give up, that everything goes according to plan. Well, I would like to tell the young people out there not to rely on anybody to help them. They should you know, look in words and look at themselves very well and find out the strength within and move on with life. You know, and never give up, but only to strive harder to be a better person because it is possible. If I can do it, I'm sure they can do it too.